Hello everyone, Mrs Stevens here. Hope you're safe and well at home. Now, we've had a message from some adults that some of you children have been getting a little bit frustrated and upset because you've been struggling to write some of your numbers or write your name or maybe draw some shapes or pictures. Now, we don't want you to get upset. So, the teachers have talked about this and we thought we would do some videos showing you some activities you can do with things at home to help you develop the muscles in your fingers because your fingers are only little at the moment and you're still developing the muscles and learning how to hold a pencil correctly and use the scissors there are some activities that we can do that will help you with this. So the first one today is using pegs. All you will need are some clothes pegs and a coat hanger. It doesn't have to be a coat hanger like mine with the bar across, but that would be a good one to use. So all you need to do is to try to put the pegs onto the coat hanger. Now you can hang the coat hanger somewhere. I've just hung it on a door handle. And you can practice pinching the end of the peg to, to open up this end, okay? By squeezing one end together, it opens up the other end. And just doing that helps your finger muscles to develop because sometimes pegs are a little bit strong and that's a little bit tricky to do. Now, you could pretend it was a crocodile. Snap, 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 snapping. So when you've had a little practice at just opening and closing the peg like that. Now this one's quite hard. I can feel the muscles in my finger and thumb and the muscles in my hand working hard. Now, I'm going to peg this peg onto the coat hanger, just like that. And you can do that. You can see how many pegs you can peg onto the coat hanger. Now, as you've noticed, I'm making a pattern. Yellow, orange, yellow, orange. So now I need a yellow one. And then an orange one. You don't have to make a pattern. You can peg them on in any way you like. But it's pra good practice just pegging them on to the coat hanger. And the more you practice, the easier it will become. And the quicker you will be able to do it. Maybe if you've got a brother or sister or an adult with you, you could have a coat hanger each and you could see who could peg 10 pegs onto the coat hanger first. You could start off by counting out 10 pegs each and then say, ready, steady, go and see who can get all their pegs onto the coat hanger first. That would be a good game. You can play with lots of different people in your house and you don't have to do it like that. If that's a bit tricky because the coat hanger is moving, you could hold the coat hanger if you want to. It might be easier if you turned the coat hanger upside down. Just move it so you can see me. So you hold the coat hanger upside down and then you are pegging the pegs on that way round. That might be a little bit easier. You might ask someone to hold the coat hanger for you. And again, you might like to make a pattern. Oh, what colour do I need next? Yellow. Or you might like to just see how quickly you can get the coat hangers, the pegs, sorry, onto the coat hanger. 
if you've got lots of pigs, you might be able to fill the coat hanger up. So that is a good activity to practice using your finger muscles because you also need to do a little bit of the same action when you are using scissors. So it will also help you to use scissors with your cutting out and it will help you with your writing because these thumb and finger are what you need to use to hold your pencil. So I'm going to show you a different way you can use your pegs instead of your coat hanger. Hello, now you might have one of these in your house. An adult might use it to put clothes on to dry. It's called a clothes area or a clothes horse. You can put your washing on it or when you've done the ironing, your adult might put it on. But you could also use one of these to practice putting the pegs onto it. Because whereas your adult might peg washing onto the washing line outside, you won't be able to reach that. But you could reach one of these. So, you could practice putting the pegs onto the clothes area. Now you can put them on upside down or you can put them on the right way up. Now you might have fun because they turn upside down anyway. You could have fun whizzing them round, just pushing them with your finger. Use your finger to flick it and see if you can make them whiz around. That's quite a fun game. So you could put all your pegs on. It doesn't matter if you put them on that way around. They will fall upside down anyway. So you can see how many pegs you can put on to the clothes area and then give them a whiz round. That's quite a fun game to play. Again, you could have a game, you could have a competition with another person in your house. You could have a number of, same number of pegs each and see how quickly you can get them onto the clothes area and who wins, who gets them on there first. I'm going to show you one more thing that you can put pegs onto on the next clip. Hello, this is something different you can use to practice pegging your pegs onto. You will need some string or a shoelace. You will need some scissors to cut your string, some pegs and some items to peg onto your washing line. So we're going to make a washing line. I've tied a piece of string to the chair legs. It's only a little washing line. You could make a bigger one by using two chairs or by using the legs on a table. And you'd need to ask an adult to tie the string around the legs. Go from one side to the other. You need to cut it and then tie the other side round there. Tie a knot in it. So you've made your own washing line that you can reach. You could also, I haven't tied that tight enough have I? It's a bit tricky to tie a knot, so you will need an adult to help you. There we go. Or you could use a shoelace. If you've got a spare shoelace, you could tie it. Ask an adult to help you. Tie it to the chair legs or the table legs. Whichever you like, depending on how big. And then you can use your pegs to peg your washing. You might like to use some doll's clothes or you can use socks. This is a little bit harder than just pegging the pegs because you have to 
hold close right next to the line and put the peg onto both the item of clothing and the line. So this is a little bit trickier than just putting the peg on. But you could have a practice at pegging out your washing. Might be doll's clothes, might be gloves or scarves or pants. That's quite a fun game to play. So it helps you again with your finger muscles for writing and drawing and cutting. So I hope you have fun playing with pegs today and trying those different activities that you can peg onto different things. Washing lines, coat hangers and pegging the washing out. I hope you have fun and don't forget you could use the other hand as well. That's even harder. Okay, thank you for watching and have fun. Bye.